Hi, I am Saradhi and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to validate a data discovery entity and how to view the data model or the transaction object of the entity and how to check the constraints between the tables in the transaction object. So in order to validate the entity and view the transaction object, launch the EDM and in the EDM to view file archive in the file archive expand the application in which you have created the data discovery entities so I'll use this entity for my demonstration so in order to validate this entity I would right click and I would say validate the entity once you validate the entity it would demonstrate if it is valid or invalid it is the entity is valid now if the entity is invalid it would say that the entity is invalid now if the entity is valid you may want to see the data model or the transaction object of the tables in this entity so right click on the entity again and say view transaction object when you click on view transaction object by default it would show the first two levels in the transaction object so this is the parent table and this is the child table so if you want to change the number of levels by default you could change it here I would say 3 and say enter so it is showing me all the three levels or another way is let it be the default and there is a parent there is a child if I would want to see the child tables of the child table I would double click on the child table and would, would display all the tables for which child is the parent so the hierarchy shows there is a parent table and there is a child related to it and there is a grandchild related to the child table now how to view the transact how to view the transaction object is already displayed in this video by right clicking on the entity and clicking on view transaction object now the next step is to see how these two tables are related what are the constraints between these two tables so click on the link between these two tables if you double click on the link here it would display the details about this particular relationship between parent and child if you see this is the constraint ID which is used internally and it this will show if the constraint is enabled this would show the name of the constraint this would tell us what is the parent table out of these two tables for which we click the link and the columns which are involved in this constraint so ID is the column in the parent table and this number represents the order of column so there is a composite primary key with ID 1 and ID 2 then ID 1 hash 1 hash ID 2 hash 2 that is what is displayed the order of the columns in the constraint and here it displays what is the child table so b for this link the child table is child and it would display the columns in the child table so ID is the column involved in the constraint FK underscore ID and one represents the order of the columns so if there is a composite primary key this number increases and all the columns would be displayed here in the parent and child columns separated by a hash so this is how we validate an entity we see the transaction object and then we see the constraints between the tables in the transaction object so in this video we have learned how to validate a data discovery entity how to view the data model or the transaction object and how to check the constraints between the tables in the entity that is it in this video and we would love to hear from you for any questions or feedback you could either follow us on twitter or you could write to us at support videos at informatica.com thank you